Hey guys, what's up? It's Minidef, and today I'm coming at you with another Minecraft mod installation video, and this week we have a pretty good one. And notice how I said this week. This could be a weekly thing, I'm not sure, but as of now I don't really know any kind of tutorials to do. So I'm going to try to do a tutorial coming up every week, but I usually do that anyway, but for now it's going to be mods because I really don't know what else to throw at you guys. But anyway, this week is going to be the Switcher mod. This is probably one of the best mods. It's the simplest, as in for laptop users because it's just great and if you don't know what it is you will watch just watch because you will watch and you will figure out what it does what it kind of does is like an auto switcher so if you're trying to break a block it will use the best tool for the block so if you're trying to break dirt it will use a shovel and it just automatically switches so you don't have to keep scrolling or whatever it's just kind of obnoxious to do but this will work and as of now this is for 1.2.5 and 1.2.4, 1.2.3, but and this will be updated as it goes. So don't ask me. Oh, does it work? Well, check the you know. Um, it says right next to it if it's the right version. So I have the links in the description. You're gonna need Mod Loader 2. What Mod Loader does is it enables mods to not interfere with the Minecraft stuff itself. So I have both the links. To go ahead and download them both. I've already got it done. Before we start, we are gonna get a fresh copy of Minecraft. Now, so we're going to open up Minecraft and you're going to log in and then options force update and then go ahead and log in and you will have a fresh version if that doesn't work I will show you that right now so if that doesn't work what you're gonna do is go into the finder and either way you need to go to this location so just go to this location library if you don't have library here what you need to do is watch my video on it I have an annotation on screen and a video link in the description so you can click that this will work on Mac OS X Lion and Mac OS X like Snow Leopard and below. But on Lion, they changed the library location, so that's why you're going to need the video. Then go to Application Support, and then go into Minecraft. And you should see a bin folder. Just delete the whole thing. That is only if Minecraft would not force update. But if it did, just leave the bin folder as it is. You should have already force updated your Minecraft, so you're all good. So now go into the bin folder. And you're going to see Minecraft.jar. We need to edit this. I had a previous video on doing this, but I found a much easier way just by myself. So change it to Minecraft.zip. Press Enter and add .zip to the end. Enter and use .zip. Then double click it. What it will do is it will unzip it just like it's a zippable format. Delete the old Minecraft.jar. And now you should have a folder. Now press enter again and then add dot jar to the end. Now what this does is it changes it back to the original format. Technically it's not, but it's recognized by the game as a dot jar. So it's just like one of these, but we can go in the folder and edit the class files inside. So what you're going to need to do is open up the mod loader. You should have already got this downloaded. And highlight all of them and then drag it into the Minecraft dot jar. And apply to all, replace. And there you go. Now we just need to install the auto switch class file. Just drag it in. So one more thing. We're going to need to go back into the minecraft.jar and delete the meta inf folder. This is just a folder that usually needs to be deleted every time you do any mod installations. Just go ahead and find it in here. Shouldn't be that hard. It's probably one of the few folders inside here. Let's go ahead, find it. Meta inf. There we go. Go ahead and trash it. Nobody needs it. Eh. And you're done. Everything should work. I'm going to go ahead and test it out. I will see you guys when I'm in Minecraft. All right, one more thing. I'm sorry for all these one more thing things because there's a lot more to this mod than I thought. So I'm going to go back to the Minecraft folder and go into the mods folder. This is optional. I will explain what this is in a second. Auto switch config.txt. Now, by default, the mod is not on. This key binding right here, it says this key toggles whether auto switch is enabled. So by default, it's disabled. So you have to press F10 to enable it. But on a Mac, you don't really have the F10 key. It kind of enables um, mute switch for me. So you have to press Fn F10. Now that's not a problem for me because I'm not going to be switching this mod on and off. But if you want to change it, you can here. So right now we're actually going to go into Minecraft. I'm sorry for all the times I said I was, but now I am. We're now doing it. Okay, so now we're in Minecraft. Officially, it is now time for Minecraft. So, this is what it came like when you looked at it, and the first time, nothing happened. You were like, what? I did it wrong, but Minitef taught me. He can't be wrong. Well, I can be wrong, but 
In this case, I'm not wrong. So what you have to do is press Fn F10 or whatever key you set it to, and it will now auto switch. Auto switch, yeah. I can switch to them all. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can check out one of the other ones on screen or possibly subscribe if you're totally awesome. But if you don't want to be totally awesome, you can just do other stuff. So anyway, I will see you guys later. Peace.